Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I decided to do a deep treatment, a DIY deep treatment. So usually when you buy deep treatments, you have to buy them separately from your conditioner. So it's either a deep treatment or a deep conditioner. And I decided to make this video to show you guys how you could make your own and save some. Because you know I'm always about saving some money and also being able to, you know, do this natural hair journey without spending too much money. So. When it comes to deep conditioners, you have to have a moisturizing agent and you have to also have a protein or a like a rebuilding agent. That's why I use mayonnaise to be that protein or rebuilding agent. And then I use my um, castor oil as that. Okay, so you guys are going to see in this video how I do that and how I use it on my hair. So guys, you could use any mayonnaise that you have at your place. Just make sure it's full fat mayonnaise and then castor oil. I do recommend that you do use the mixed berry castor oil because it's better when it comes to the smell. If you don't want to use castor oil, you can use Jamaican black castor oil. It's also great. Then you can mix it with your conditioner. Always go for conditioner which is good for fragile hair or for dry or brittle hair. Or an egg conditioner because my hair is so dry it is so brittle it's the worst then you're going to mix your mayonnaise with your conditioner I do recommend you guys use a spoon but like I'm the laziest person ever I won't so there's the mayonnaise then you're gonna add your castor oil the castor oil maybe like a, a teaspoon I just go with it but if you look at it it does look like it's a teaspoon of castor oil so maybe a spoon of mayonnaise a teaspoon of castor oil and just enough conditioner to lather your hair then you mix that all together mix it till if your conditioner is white if it's got like a little bit of yellow that's when you see like okay you've mixed the mayonnaise and the conditioner well enough when it comes to application, I want you guys to use the method that was used on your hair when you, if you've ever relaxed your hair, use that method. It's the best for applying any product. So that's how I apply the deep conditioner with that method that they used to use on us for <laughs> relaxed hair and I'm spilling it all over my clothes, but it doesn't matter, it's just mayonnaise. The thing I love about this conditioner is that this deep conditioner is that it's not runny. It does really, really work. You'll see the results. And yeah, it's it, it covers your whole head. Then I'm done. I used all of that conditioner now I'm going to use my fingers to really really work through it I do recommend if you're really serious about this natural hair journey try your best to avoid combs focus on using your fingers to detangle and you know just work with your fingers and give combs a break after that I will take a plastic bag as I've always said use a black plastic bag because it traps I'm not going to use a black plastic bag here but any dark color this is a um, orange one you could use an orange plastic bag blue plastic bag go for the dark colors avoid spa plastic bags because <laughs> they are white you need something that's going to trap heat then you'll wait for 45 minutes after that your hair would have absorbed all of the deep conditioner and it's time for you to finger detangle With finger detangling, you will see any knots and kinks that you ever had just melt away. If your hair has been dry for a long time and it's got knots, you really need to deep condition it and apply and use a finger detangling method. I'm going to show you guys the amount of shedding that I do experience. I hope you guys do know that a human being usually loses up to 100 hair strands per day. So you should look at your shedding and not be scared when you're seeing that your hair sheds like every day. Every day you're supposed to lose at least 100 hair strands. So chill. 
Just look at how detangled the hair looks. That's my shedding. Really little. Then I wash my hair off with, I rinse my hair off with cool water. This is because it really like locks all of that goodness that you got from that deep conditioning. And I love cold water on my hair. I don't know why. It just feels good. It even wakes you up. So I'm just going to rinse that. If you look very closely, you can see my hair looks black and like it looks shiny. It's like I I, I don't want to act like I'm overreacting, but I can see the difference already. Especially when it comes to shine, my hair does have shine. And I haven't applied anything yet and it looks glistens, okay? And I'll use a t-shirt and I'll wrap it around my hair. You guys should know by now. We don't use towels, we use t-shirts because towels can snag your hair. You can use towels if you know how to use them. Guys, if you do want me to make a video about the correct way to use towels to dry your hair, please comment down below. But for now, we roll with t-shirts. Then my hair is a bit dry. I always like to leave just a little bit of the product on my hair, but it's annoying because it's mayonnaise. But if you're using a deep conditioner with only castor oil, you can leave the product in your hair. And then now I'm going to apply my LOC and LCO method when I'm done. I'm done. Guys, please do subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.